Hey guys, this is Yalın Hoca. Before getting into this video, please do not forget to give a thumbs up and leave an algorithm in comment in the video below. You guys forget this after the video ends. This is like a Piltover game. I am adding my video audio after the game. In this way, I'll be more chill and more describing, yes. Basically, we got over at this stage but we are not winning I mean we are not winning we are not taking advantage of tilt over we are win streaking <laughs> as you can see out of nowhere we killed Samira 2 this is like terrible stuff a terrible beginning but uh, this is tilt over still water hold so nobody can get any arguments my opponents are not getting strong this might be the reason they lose to me in these early stages i try to grief myself i put units in front line even jinx and jace and backline echo let's see what we can get with this fight i'm also not using zone adaptive implant echo becomes too op with this item see my jace is <laughs> sniping oriana and we win this fight as well double win streak this is like a terrible stuff for piltor But I do not lose my hop. <laughs> I keep going. And I do not break pull tower apart. I'm like getting two or four loot from this. Cash out, mini mini cash outs. I get my bow and jinx even upgraded to two star. And one guy in the lobby, uh, my picture is blocking the screen, but the eighth one, his name is Lou Bunnies. It's like Lou Bunnies. The guy, <laughs> the guy is AFK. He got two tilted because we picked, I mean, one person picked still water and nobody got any argument and he become tilted, went AFK. I was tilted as well. <laughs> I wanted the FF. But uh, I said, never mind. It will be a different content. And it became one. Let's enjoy this fight. I frontline uh, Jinx in the middle. <laughs> and I have this AFK guy. I ping him. I'm like too tilted at this stage. <laughs> But I do not lose my hop again. Just keep fighting. Keep playing. If you like this kind of commentary, please let me know in the comments as well. I got two distracted while in the stream I'm like scouting them <laughs> to see if there is any dangerous person who might I lose I see that they are too strong uh, they are too full health players with fire win streak on their heads so I turn back to normal positioning. I play to my strength. I kill a few units, but of course not win the fight. This is really important to keep your health higher in any case. I got my loss and I got my kills as well. This is the perfect loss. If we killed Darius, that would be better. And I'm level 5 at Krags. I also pushed levels like 
at the second minion stage, before the second minions, yes? To get kill to our units. We kill the Krags easily. This is just no problem. If I hadn't have adaptive implant on Echo, this might be a bit dangerous. But I also have two Star Jinx, yes. Look, I'm uh, clicking. I'm getting loser XI pre cost just to keep my win, keep my health. <laughs> I just don't care at this stage about getting built over stuff, built over stacks. I activate Bruiser to have a viable front line. I saw Loriana and wait. Okay. I had a real trouble with recording. <laughs> we we just kept going on. Let's see where we at. We are basically at third stage here. The stage that we get the second augment, but we don't get anything. It came the game actually becomes like mm, blank, empty. It feels like <laughs> the game is not started without getting arguments. This video starts at the 2 slash 2. I didn't show you the first fight because <laughs> I didn't know that the game started. I thought we were uh, playing minions because there was no arguments, yeah? We are real strong right now. <laughs> With Sejuani, rules reactivated, and <laughs> I just go for win tempo. I have Piltover, but <laughs> nobody cares. I play Piltover units just, just because they activate some buff. Echo is two star. Jace activates Kroner, and Y activates Bruiser for Sejuani. And Piltover stays there for nothing, for no real purpose. It's just natural, natural, and I level to keep my tempo ahead. I have two win streak. I put Ash to activate Freljord as well. This Echo is real strong, by the way, with adaptive implants right now. Uh, I. Uh, some might argue that I should put adaptive implant on Jinx at this at this stage, but without a strong front, Jinx won't do anything. I need to have strong front first. If you face a situation like this, you have strong carries, perfect item carries, but you don't know why you lose the fight. It might be that your front gets nuked real early and your perfect carries cannot do without a front. They cannot do anything without the front. I pick Hawk to itemize Argot, which is the uh, core item of Argot is Blood Sorcerers, ET. I just put this on Jinx, so she can carry this while I wait for an Argot. This guy is still AFK, left with 10 health. This is really satisfying part I have got at the stage. Ah, oh. I get hurt me a lot. 
Witwen. Right. I somehow lose this fight. I would desire to win. But anyway, I get some tiny mini tutorial stacks on the way. I wait to level up to 7. I keep my gold above 50. Just enjoying the interest. I level a bit. At this point, uh, I am thinking like, do I go for 3 star Ash, which is real strong at this point, or 3 star Jinx, which is my ma main curry. And I also don't have 2 star Y. I think about the rolling, but I have tilt over. And I am falling down a bit. I can get some loss, loss streaks, and some minor loots. Though I do not roll, which works well. <laughs> I, I even got the win. <laughs> I didn't have to waste my all to get this win. And the third stage is over. We are at the wolves. Three two star ash. Another ash. I scout the lobby and see that there is a Jinx player. There is another Jinx player. So I decide not to go 3 star Jinx. Because they will contest me hard. Block me hard. But uh, I keep Jinx on the bench because I want to remake her. Get Blood Torsters to our god and in other items to Zeri and I am level 7 I roll a bit to find or got another Zeri I find I find a busted rise let's see what happens here I put the tank items. I keep West and Bow to itemize Argot, like Titans. Edge of Night, maybe. And I lose this fight. Like, Darius was too much OP at this fight. That was a bit ex unexpected. I get extra pair Jinx. So I know that I can make her real easy. <laughs> this guy, uh, this rise <laughs> just doesn't work for us. He doesn't provide any value at this stage without items. I sell him. Because I have a weak front I put another front unit this is such a different build I'm facing right now Ballista, Samira, Darius and <laughs> Turk <laughs> what does Turk do? <laughs> My Jinx get us the win. As you can see, with one or two loss, after one or two loss, I got a win, some minor loots from Piltover. And the lobby is real weak because they do not have augments and they don't know how to play without augments. Better player wins without augments. Arguments uh, bring in lots of luck and RNG value to the game, which makes it fun. But it also makes you 
base god tier opponents like three star for cost units early five cost two stars like Ari, Balvet, comps without arguments uh, they wouldn't be at the meta nobody would play them nobody would try to even go for level eight <laughs> without arguments I lose a bit hard. I see there is a Piltover Technogenius perfect unit, Heimerdanger spinning around the carousel. I wish I wish that I get him and my luck. This guy stays a bit too late to get Heimerdanger. <laughs> he rushes for tier. Like, why would you do that? I have Preliord in my board, which brings in armor and MR reduction, shrink, Sonder basically, and It is better for me to put in Heimer with only Goldenator or Mechanosworm. I don't need any shrink. This round uh, I was AFK. <laughs> I had to check my cats. But I got Argot in the end. I couldn't put in Heimer longer. But never mind. If I lose, I get Piltorx stuff. If I win, I win. There's nothing I can lose. But I lose a bit hard. Like, this is 6 unit loss, which results in 14 damage. <laughs> uh, I'm like mad at this guy because he was not playing Connor, he was not playing Piltover. He was not playing any related stuff with Zone, Piltor, Zeri, and out of nowhere he forces pivots into this comp just to get wrecked by me and just to block me. I don't know. I got my Zeri. I remake Sal. Jinx. At these stages, uh, I do not activate Gunner buff because I need Bruiser, I need Freljord, I cannot drop Heimerdanger, I just need to go 8. At level 8, I can uh, think about Gun, uh, Zawan Gunner, and also there is level 1. I'm like thinking about the alternatives for zone, extra gunner, one more piltover. I actually noticed that uh, I dropped piltover. So I want to put in piltover as well. <laughs> I'm like having too many ideas and get confused by them. You just stop the video right there and, and think uh, how would I optimize my board to the best cap at this point, at this stage. Should I drop Ash? Should I drop Tyne? Should I add Y? I level and put in Y just to summon hacks and have a better front line like <laughs> I have four loss stacks on T hacks and six charges I position real Perfect against this Noxus guy. I make him focus on Cyan with Darius. 
and my Ziri, all the carries focus on Darius, kills him instantly. I deal this guy lots of damage, 16. And I do this again, again, and again. Every time I get the chance, the opportunity to fight him, I bleed him out. And I got the loot, <laughs> mini loot. Not like 70 radiant items. I'm like too close to getting an ash 3 star, but I see that I need to 2 star my Zeri, Argot, even 2 star Cyan, and level, hopefully. I scout and position real well. But I face the other guy, still not a problem. What what is my Argot doing? <laughs> okay, an easy win. And almost killed this guy. Dominated him. We are at late game. This stage. Stage 5. The bot for is getting decided at this stage. I scout every turn so that uh, I eliminate the guys who are too close to elimination. Yeah, so kills the turret. What's wrong? This one is quite too as well. Yeah. I see that the biggest danger at this stage is the guy with Noxus, three star Darius. I don't want him to pass my pawn, so I get the perfect counter item for Darius, which is Gamble Waste. This item just negates the critical strikes. Okay, let me check this. My position according to my possible rivals. I told you this guy was contesting me out of nowhere. Jarwan Alts, but Heimer Dringer Alts better. See, my front holds up with Bramble West and some fire, and I hit another 14 damage. We're at weak. I, I got zero pair. I think about rolling all my gold after the PvE round. I see that this guy has Ari, and I'm facing him. I position the targets real badly, like, this is terrible, you will see in the fight. And this is his bot, by the way, this is bot, check this fight. My Argot is positioned well, Cyan knocks them up, but even one star but Ari just nukes down all my board. Please write, just nerf this. Nerf this. 
more heroes shall be or there should be nothing that nukes down the whole board you cannot have that huge radius aoe skills in tft that makes players hate the game like zone chemtech enhancement exploding jar one Ari alt there is there is no counterplay to them because they just hit all the map and their damage is enough to kill any unit you cannot put uh, defensive items to all your carries and even defensive items will not be sufficient because <laughs> they kill perfect bis three item tanks in one shot as well how can i carry and withstand re cast You face the Darius guy and you see he gets stuck at Tejrani but somehow resets to Argot and I eliminate him. <laughs> I told you, yeah. And it's just two people remaining. One is Ratwick, the guy who contested Zeri out of nowhere. Without any logic behind that. I got my upgrades. I roll down. Because I know these are the last fights. I cannot give my enemies one round advantage. I need to eliminate, eliminate them when they are weak. I get Yasuo in front of me. <coughs> Just throw out him. And absolutely crush him. This comp is real perfect right now. Does wonders. And <laughs> the guy with Ari <laughs> defeats the other guy. They are all almost dead. One round to go. Look, look. <laughs> I know I am facing this guy, certainly. Is the only option, and I try to position <laughs> against him. Check the positioning. Check the positioning, guys. This is perfect. See, and I see that he also changes places, <laughs> and I notice I absolutely grieved myself. His front, basically. <laughs> bullies my backline but there is adaptive implant on Zeri extra omnivamp and I win the game it's just GG alright guys thank you for being with me until this now if you like this type of content like first try hard full focus record the game and then comment please let me know see you guys soon bye bye